All right, welcome back everybody. We're putting out another getting to know video this week focused on, you guessed it, Viper. Uh, Viper is a controller like you can see on the screen there. And what that really means is she's gonna be responsible for controlling lines of sight more than anything else. And you'll see as we get into her abilities, a lot of her kit is based around that idea of controlling lines of sight and helping your team push or slow pushes based on that line of sight control. All right, the first ability we're gonna focus on here is gonna be her signature ability, her E ability, called Toxic Screen. And what this is, is she shoots out this little drone and it basically lays a bunch of these little markers in a line. And whenever you press E again, it will put up this screen of toxic smoke that blocks sight, but you can walk through it. It does a slight decay when you walk through it, friendly or foe, but the decay comes back once you're no longer in the smoke. Uh, the toxic screen also has the ability to go up when you press E and then if you press E again it will come back down and your smoke will start recharging. She does have a limited amount of smoke uh, on a scale of 0 to 100 quite literally and whenever either your E or your Q which we'll get to in a minute are active your smoke drains if they are both inactive your smoke charges. So this is a really good ability to control line of sight and also put it up and down as needed uh, but it does require certainly communication with your team because you don't want to put it down when someone's relying on it being there and get them killed. All right, to give you a quick demo of the E ability, the wall, uh, we're here in the practice range. You can see when you hit E, she kind of pulls it out and gets ready to fire it. And then when you left click, she'll shoot it out and you can see the little drone uh, flies out and lays these little markers down on the ground. And then once it's out on the ground, you can press E and makes this wall come up. You can see one of the markers actually landed on top of this arch, so some of the wall is up there. And then you can see in the middle of the screen here, as the wall is up, my poison ability is draining. And then if I press E again, screen down. the poison starts recovering and the wall goes down. That's really all there is to it. All right, the next ability we'll look at here is gonna be her Q ability, which is called Poison Cloud. And this is, she throws a little marker, I don't know what else to call it, a little little stone onto the ground. And then when you press Q, it activates a orb of smoke, uh, similar to her E, where when you press Q, it turns on, you can press Q again, and it turns off. Also similar to her E, and as I alluded to earlier, this also relies on her smoke bar, uh, again, zero to 100. And when Q is active, it drains, Q is inactive, it recharges. Uh, this has the same effect as the E as well, where if you're inside of it, with the exception of Viper herself, it will cause some decay to your health, which will then slowly return when you exit the smoke. All right, now to give you a quick demo of her Q ability, you can see when I press Q, she pulls out this little rock looking thing. And then when I left click, she throws it and it sticks in the ground wherever it lands. And then similar to her E by pressing Q again, orb it activates the orb. You can see my poison is draining, very similar to my E ability. And you can see when I walk into this, I don't take any damage, so I can pass through it freely. And then again, similar to the E, I press Q again, Poison's off. the orb goes away. One thing that is significantly different than the E though, and I forgot to mention in the description, is when you walk over to this, it does give you the option to press F to pick it up. And when you do that, you can see at the bottom of the screen, there is a short cooldown before you can throw it again, but it does let you place it maneuver, potentially pick it up, reposition it as needed. So then after the cooldown, you can then again press Q, throw it, and activate it again. So functions very similar to her E, except for the shape of the smoke and obviously the ability to pick it up. All right, the third ability we're gonna look at here is her C ability called Snake Bite. Uh, this shoots basically a pool of acid out of uh, her wrist. It shoots a little higher than where your reticule is aimed, so you'll wanna keep that in mind. And really what it does is it puts this little pool of acid on the ground and it does damage over time to basically kind of zone off an area for a short period of time. Very similar to if you think of Phoenix or Brimstone's Molotov abilities. This functions exactly the same way. It just is a pool of acid to better fit her character as opposed to the fire for the other two. But it functions the same way. Puts the pool on the ground. Enemies can run through it. They take slight damage over time but more than likely they'll wait for it to run out because it does have a fairly short duration. All right, now to demo her C ability, you can see when I press C, she loads up this charge and then by left clicking, 
can fire it. And you can see in this case, it bounces off vertical surfaces such as walls, but as soon as it hits any sort of horizontal surface, it will detonate and create that pool that you just saw. Uh, one important note, unlike her other abilities, her E and her Q ability, this one will actually hurt you. So if you lay it and then start walking through it, it will do damage to you. Other than that, it does kind of just function pretty straightforwardly. Like I said in the description, it does kind of fire slightly above where your reticule is. So that is something to note. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And finally, we come to her ultimate ability, her X ability, called Viper's Pit, as you can see on the screen there. And what this does is when you activate it, it creates this large AOE cloud of smoke with very limited visibility. And when Viper is in the cloud, the cloud will stay up. If she leaves the cloud for roughly five seconds, the cloud will go away. It will also go away on her death. But as long as she is alive and in the cloud, it will not go away. Secondarily, when she's in there, despite the limited visibility, any enemy that is in there with you will light up bright red. So it's very easy to see. So it really, really helps to control a site. You'll see a lot of people sometimes just use it preemptively if the enemy is coming towards site A, just use her alt on site A and they either have to try and play through that, which is very difficult, or just completely change their plan and go to one of the other sites. So very powerful ability to take control of a point on offense or on defense and really, really force the enemy to play around it carefully. All right, and now to demo her ultimate ability, similar to her other ones, when you press, in this case, X, it brings up this menu where you can aim where you're going to deploy it, and then by left-clicking, she creates her cloud. And then as you walk around, you can see where the cloud ended up. In this case, it does go through walls and such, so I deployed it in here, but it does go all the way out around the corner. And as long as I'm in this cloud, it won't go away, as long as I'm alive. But walking over here, as soon as I leave it, you can see at the top center of the screen there's a smoke integrity bar. And when you're in it, it charges. And when you leave the cloud, it drains. And if it drains completely, your alt is over. The cloud goes away. So it is a really, really powerful ability to control sight of a point. Or to deny access to a point if you use it preemptively. And as you get better with it, you can play around the edges of it and kind of peek out, attack an enemy, peek back in and really, really just control the point. And there you have it. That's a quick little description and demonstration of Viper's abilities. Uh, I've been playing her this last week and she is a lot of fun to play. So uh, take what you learned here, go give her a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, her abilities can be used in pretty creative ways and when used in concert, you can really dominate a point. So go, go give her a try, have some fun with it. Until next time.